it a day for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, okay. I guess we hope to have it done during the summer, right? And then they just ran over. Yeah. So um, as soon as school got out, they immediately started like gutting the classrooms. I mean, they had like mm -hmm. dumpsters like outside the window. And we were at a camp on the facility too. So it was pretty crazy to be like to see all of this. Um, but they started like at the end of June and they, they said it was going to be done for the beginning of school. Um, and they did get four classrooms ready. They did have uh -huh. four times. We had, we, I mean, the thing is like, we didn't get a lot of rain down here. So like, that's not great during the summer for the world and plants and stuff like that. But in terms of, I guess, doing construction, it's really good because yeah. there was a lot of outdoor work and, um, yeah. the company was allowed to do, was, was able to do so much work because they didn't have rain. So. so, by the way, I'm recording, but um, it's okay there. You didn't mention the company's name or anything, no, or say anything bad. I'm just, I don't, I don't. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just, I just thought, oh, okay. I just thought I should tell you. Um, okay. <laughs> so, I was about to. Christina was showing me something else, and then I was about to show her that I set up in this space um, five other spaces, um, five workstations let's call them right so shall i shall i do that tour and then we think about what yeah, to do together yeah. okay and you'll just pull us around i guess i don't know um i <laughs> see if they were some of them are on picnic tables so i like this okay. space we've used it before but it, i like this space because it's you know outdoors but um so i'm going down let me try to pull you let's see what happens uh. Okay, that didn't work because there aren't there aren't chairs here. <laughs> or, I don't think it did, right? You didn't get pulled down. No, I didn't really. Okay. Kind of moved us around, but. Okay, there are no chairs here, so that's why. Okay, so this is your post that you wrote. If you click on right. the thing on there, um, and that's in now comment, and which basically I think asks the question: Why do we Why do we want to look at notebooks for write out? Yeah. yeah. Um, I did find clear images, by the way. <laughs> um, nice. But just to s uh, say, um, I don't know. I just, I just, I, I used Google. Um, there's a Google. If you right click, you can use Google Analyzer or X, whatever it is. I don't know. It's something new, and it it, it tells you the source of the image where where it was first used. It's kind of amazing. Um, I didn't know anything about that. Anyway, so it gives you lots of options of the same image that look better in some way. Anyway, so there's that. We could go in there and talk to each other. Do you want to? I'll, let's do a quick tour. Then if you go, let's tour. what? Let's do the tour first. Okay, yeah. So go straight up. Mm -hmm. Back to here and here. Oh, I could have pulled you here. Uh, so this is the one, this is the National Parks one, right? Marina, do you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, I mean, I started looking at some of the details of that, and it gets pretty technical really fast. So I, I don't know. It's more science and less writing, to my mind, So it, uh, when you think about journals. So that, I think that's an interesting thing to think about. I don't know what else you were thinking about there, Christina, but. Well, again, it is this, um, like, what do scientists do with journals? Mm -hmm. I guess is kind of a question I was thinking about in relation to this. You know, what are they, how are they using them and what are they doing with them? Um, yeah, that sounds. And then, okay, so then um, I did grab Kevin's um, annotation or animation i should say and come on over to that and if you if you click on that it, it'll take you to the um to the national parks october page 
Oh, great. So there's that. And I probably should put up a sign saying that, um, but I haven't done that. I, I don't know. And then, and then there, that. Like, write out, write out themes are yeah. connected to the themes so, of the parks or something. Why don't I just do that? I'll do it in a sec. Yeah, that sounds good. And then um, the next one over is Rick, Rick Nova, Rich Novak's field journaling from from last year, but I thought it was certainly appropriate to what we're doing. But people could annotate that and think about that as yeah, well. He also, I reached out to him about this because I'm trying to get him to post it into write out. Mm -hmm. um, but he could post this annotatable one so that's interesting and then there's because that other thing is a field journal too from great um, right gateway i was sort of curious about this idea of field journaling anyway uh -huh. and he was thinking about um something else called a rambling journal too which would be less formal than you know field journaling tends to be formal like the one from gateway so, like, trying to think about that. All right, just to finish the tour down one. Um, at this picnic table, there is the um, science journal, the interactive science journal. Yeah. So if you click on Great. that. And I think, yeah, I, I meant to put, well, anyway, that's Kevin's introduction to it, and then the slides are here. Okay. And if so, you, um, yeah. There's one more. <laughs> Sorry, but go ahead. What what did you about this or in general? Yeah, well, just about this. So there was this this woman, Abigail Lund, who's a writing project person from Ohio Writing Project. Mm -hmm. She's a fifth grade teacher, mm -hmm. and she was her response to this journal was that, um, or she had some like in in the write out group. She had some like pushback on the journal because it includes like. I saw that, yeah. yeah. Like te yeah. teachers telling you what to put in your journal kind of question. Was yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. She does journaling with her kids and she posts that stuff on Twitter. And so I wonder if we made like. Yeah, if you I could. Don't know. I, if you have another... it, we can, you can embed a Twitter in a comment. You can yeah. embed a tweet in a comment. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, um, just get the. See if she would share some of the journals because she does a lot of writing with moving writers too. So anyway, hmm. I'm I think she's busy right now, but um, some she might well, be able to share some of her journal kids journals too. Well, the the sort of conceptual like, thing that one. the conceptual thing that I would like to break through in some way, and I keep saying this, but is that is to give people the idea that they can come here whenever they want or can, right? Not just. Mm -hmm. this Wednesday night and, and add to it. But it's yeah. it's a hard thing to think about, I think, or something. I don't know. But that'd be worth... So here's, here's yeah. one of her notebook examples. So maybe I should just ask her if we could share this. I what? was just looking at that on Twitter, Christina, because I follow her because one of the... I think... I forget how I found her, but I know it was definitely... We were talking, you and I, one of those times when Paul wasn't here and I hopped on... And hit the hashtag and wait. So she put that up on Twitter. Yeah, she writes because scientists are observers and writers. We took our writer's notebook outside today to take field notes and collect samples. It was so peaceful. So she's obviously doing observation with the kids. You know what they saw and. Uh huh. There's a picture of them. That kid has a Wayne Gretzky shirt on. Um, so. I think there's a little poem on this. I think there's one. Yeah. There's one more. I don't know if you want to. Oh, is there one more on that one? Yeah. She no, has, this um, one. A, a piece of student writing with um, like a little poem. Oh. So this says it started writing in science. First day of week two, science or poets. Like, she's got a lot of really good stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get her to post, like, I'm trying to get other people to post their stuff and not just, like, me and Kevin posting everybody's stuff. <laughs> no, I know, yeah. 
Um, okay. Anyway, I just want to. Um, what, what's her name again? Abigail. You're Lund. trying to get. Okay. Well, why don't I write to her? Wait, how do I get back to Kuma Space? Um, let me write There's to her at CCU and we'll see if we can use the content in okay. those two places. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. I mean, yes. And then the last thing um, is um, is is down. There's one more station. And that's the who keeps a journal. Oh yeah. Kind of, yeah. So that's there with both the video and the te uh, and the slides are there. And his um, commentary and is in there too. The one other example I have, Paul, is mm -hmm. um, from outdoor, um, Leandra Taylor from Outdoor Afro did nature journaling last year mm -hmm. um, in a webinar. And I have like the piece of the webinar. OK. So it, it, has that been posted somewhere or? Not yet. Not yet. OK. So I'm trying not to post. We're trying not to post everything all oh, at once, but you know. I got it. Yeah. Well, so, could this space have a couple more things? I, I absolutely. I you just you know, to me. To me, I'm starting to 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 see. I mean, you're still asking why, which I think is a good question. But just in terms of genre, you know, there's like some people who are into nature journaling, some people who are into field journaling some people who are into sketch noting um mm -hmm. I was gonna you say know that. so yeah. i'm seeing like sort of different genre and this this is not my area like i don't i mean i don't really use notebooks in this way so it's interesting mm -hmm. um i have this book too marina have you seen this one no what is it i can't see it hold it up again Oh, John Muir Laws, How to Teach Nature Journaling. Huh. Marina, do you do any of this with your kids or? Yeah, well, when I have them keep a science notebook, they, they do writing in the science notebook as well as, you know, sketching out diagrams and um, mm -hmm. different, different things, you know. Okay. Trying to think. Yeah, we do a lot of different. We do writing in science, so it might be with diagramming and kind of teaching those. I'm thinking of the field journal, like teaching those relate how the relationships with arrows and different symbols and how that can like tie mm -hmm. ideas together in different ways. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, the the science notebook is kind of like a writer's notebook through a science lens. There's a lot of um, right collecting ideas. It's in nice way to say. Yeah. So, um, blah, blah, blah. oh, j just a Kumo space um, point. You can now mm -hmm. expand the rooms, which is kind of nice. Um, one of the oh. things that Emily complained about um, a month or and a half ago or so is is the rooms get filled up, right? So, yeah, um, you could we could uh, it would make sense to me to put each resource on a on a its own table, perhaps. Mm -hmm. So we could expand here. I'll expand this room and we'll see what happens. If, if I don't know if we can do it with you. Well, Sorry, go ahead. Let's yeah. also, I'd like to see how it works, but let's also talk about like what's the goal here because yeah. I mean, you might have one goal, I might have a different goal, and I and my goals are sort of like emerging, <laughs> right? So I just expanded that. Space. Oh, yeah, look at that. So, mm -hmm. so we could put another. How'd you do that? Um, I don't know if you can do it under settings. Probably not. Probably just the uh, master. <laughs> um, yeah. So at any rate, um, so then we could put another picnic table over there and, and add things. You can put the other picnic table and stuff okay. or, or the other. I just can't so yeah. Okay. So let's talk about purpose. Yeah. I mean, one thing. 
about it or to Marina, I'd be interested to hear that too. About the about the space, the Kumo space setup? No, not necessarily, but the how to use these resources. I think that's the question, right? And with who? Is that what you're asking, Christina? Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, okay. Um, well, I think that they kind of all have different, again, they get different angles as to the science piece too. Like this one, I've been pulling them up, hold on. So the who keeps a journal, I thought that was, um, so, really interesting. I, I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine. You can go there. Um, I like that there's a combination too of like you got like a different sources here. Like I, you know, I didn't watch Rich's video because we're on the meeting right now. <laughs> I can watch it another time, but um, but there's that. You sometimes and do that. <laughs> what? You sometimes do that. No, I'm just teasing. Well, no, I, I do, but that's usually when we're doing work time together, and I turn off my volume and everything. No, I'm teasing. Yeah, I feel like good. Now it's, you know, because uh, but um, the the interactive science notebook. So there's also that blending of like the the technology piece. So, um, so I don't. I think this this gives a lot of different ideas. I mean, some of these are really great. Mo like, I liked that field notebook from the the ranger wrote the field notebook. I think. Yeah. Yeah, and um, that one I went through a little bit. Oh, wait, I have it right here open. Um, oh no, wait, that one I closed it out. Um, I like that because I feel like for me, even with my students, that's pretty. Um, because it's got the combination of the visuals, the coloring, the way it's organized. Like, I think it's like a really nice model for kids to see um, the different aspects that the Rangers um, jotting down, like the date, the, what it's like outside. And again, With those the letters. Are, yeah. 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 So it, like, I think there's a lot of really cool um, pieces that, you can you can kind of like develop from that just um i could see kids really seeing that and saying like oh i could do one i could do one like that or i could do yeah. one with my style but i see oh they do pictures they do air you know how to get teachers to to go with that vibe that you just said and not like oh they should put the temperature on the, this page and that you know and is is an interesting balance to find i think but yeah so yeah, i mean it's it's good for noticings and wonderings and like what's something they're doing that you'd like to try you know mm -hmm. i think so what i would imagine so there are a couple of things uh, I, one is that other write out folks could use this space to talk to each other about all the resources, right? And then come up with ideas. I don't know. So using it as a planning space is one possibility. The other is like uh, J Jake Jacobs in particular. Um, he keeps talking. He was texting me today about how they have five new teachers on his staff, right? Um, which is a lot out of twenty-five teachers. Um, so like a place for those five teachers to come and, and think about, you know, what kind of journaling you'd like to do. And I would love for Jake to come in here with those five teachers or whoever and say, go look at one of these spaces and come back and talk to us about what you found there. And then ha so it'd be a conversation like that. Mm -hmm. That that kind of professional development um, is mm -hmm. what I'm imagining. I don't know. Though. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Um, well, can I tell you what yeah. is planned at this point and sort of what I was imagining? And then you can tell me, I'm, I'm just trying to connect the pieces here. Mm -hmm. um, so right out this year, um, we'll, like we were thinking that there's sort of a space where you can learn how to make a notebook. Um, and we hope to do some like maker activities cool. um, even before write out starts so that people can start making some 
notebooks or just even like getting a notebook you have and getting it ready or setting it up or decorating the cover or something, you know? Um, and then, um, and then write out will begin and we have some, what we're calling kind of use your notebook. So they're like activities. There are a lot of the videos that maybe you've seen in the past, um, just some prompts to use your, your, you know, go out and think about how the trees are talking to each other, you know, go outside and be inspired by George Washington Carver and the way that he would capture, um, nature nope. around him and be inspired. Those are you like know, daily um, prompts kind of thing. Yeah. So those yeah. are the like prompts the for writing. Yeah. Right? The sparks. Yeah. yeah exactly. I, wa so I watched a bunch of those. Well, Marina has been looking at them. So yes. <laughs> I love so, the I love the George Washington Carver. One. Yeah, yeah. I so, love that one so much. Um, so we're trying to make some like STEM like sparks, basically, right? And we have Marina. We have a couple more, which I'm excited about. Like, um, the Wright Brothers National Park is gonna oh. uh, uh, do a video about flight um, and invent, and we'll we'll have it connected to like one about invention. And then Gateway National Park is doing one about um, architecture. Architecture? No, um, architecture. Yeah. That's cool. So, <laughs> so anyway, we're trying to have like a STEM set of you know prompts um, or sparks. They're more like sparks because they're short prompts. <laughs> and then. Um, and then we want to have just inspiration. And what we're thinking about for inspiration is like almost like, I, I hate to use Pinterest, but just like a, a gallery page of like all these pictures of journals. And you can click on the different pictures and go to find out more about that journal, right? So um, sort of like how, like this idea of, you know, being able to see a whole bunch of different ones so that you don't get into that, like, oh, a science journal must look like this. Actually, a science journal could look like this, and a science journal could look like this, and a science journal could look like this. And some of those journals will come from this artist that we're working with this year, Karen Romano Young. She's been talking to a bunch of scientists, and she's going to be um, creating little cartoons about how they use their notebooks. So, like, you would see a close up of the notebook and then you'd click and you'd go to Karen's cartoon that tells you more. I was thinking that stuff like the Gateway Recreation Center, Paul, mm -hmm. on this page, you would see a picture of that journal. And if that looked interesting to you, you could go to that. And then you could go to, you'd maybe end up at the now comment page where, or you know, the, the now comment could be a place where we could host a bunch of these so, um, journals. Uh-huh. Can you, you keep going in and out. I don't know if I'm keep going on in and out or you are. No, I, I started talking in and stopped. It, it wasn't okay. a technology thing. But no, your, your uh, image even keeps going. Oh, really? Oh, both okay. of you. So I don't know if it's oh. me or if it's. It hasn't been happening here, but. Yeah, let us know. Um, so, yeah, so. So there'll be a whole bunch of notebooks that are supposed to be inspirations or just examples of what notebooking and science looks like. And then they will go to various places where you can learn more about them. And they're not going to have lots of explanation and they're not necessarily going to have a lot, like they're not going to have a lot of support around how to use these. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're going to be more like an array of examples to look at. But I thought that if some of them were annotated that by, you know, if we were to annotate a few of them, we could make a resource that talks about what do we think is important about, or like what, what stands out to us about this journal. Like it has this, it has this, it seems to do this. It seems to, you know, anyway, that's my thinking. Does that make any sense? Makes a lot of sense, I think. Yeah. Um, so we could set up a gallery here. 
right in this space, if that makes sense, in addition to whatever other galleries you're imagining. Would you well, do it on a page on your in the website, or how would you? Yeah, it's like a it's a WordPress site, so uh -huh. Luke's making the gallery. Okay. I don't know if it could be the same gallery, or if it, you know. It wouldn't have to be. I I don't know. Um. Yeah. So. Oh, let me tell you this. So, can I also? Yeah. The other thing on October 11th, you know that. The Karen Romano Young, she's going to come and right. and she she's been interviewing all the scientists that she did those profiles of. Did you see those profiles, Marina? I yeah, I looked at them. I mean, I looked at them a few um, weeks ago. Whenever the initial invitation was posted, um, I don't remember yeah. any specific scientists, but I remember thinking like, this is really cool. Like, what she's doing. Yeah, so she she has all these scientists that she works with, and she um, wanted to tell their story about how they got to be scientists, right? And they're all very diverse, and all their stories are very diverse. And um, so she's been working with this group of scientists with the idea that kids could like potentially see their own path, you know, if they learn, you know, kind of how other scientists got to be where they are. But because of this project, she went back to every single one of them, apparently, and has asked them about their notebooking practices and is going to be sharing, like, the notebooking practices of these scientists with us in that webinar. And I actually was thinking that I'm going to try to invite that ranger who made that gateway, those gateway journals to see if she would also talk about, as a ranger, how does she keep journals? Hmm. So anyway, that'll be the other resource. So there's no reason to set up lots of different places where things are, right? Or there has to, or well, there has to be a reason that's... for it. Yeah. Not, yeah. yeah. Right. So originally I was thinking that like, some of these journals will just be like standalone images mm -hmm. and we could put them into maybe now common and maybe do some beginning annotation. I was thinking like a few, you know, we can even ask a couple science teachers, we you know too, to like, what's important about this from your perspective as like a science writing teacher, right? So like if Marina had some thoughts, we could ask um, Carrie Nobis from Michigan, you know, Trey Smith. We can ask like some people who do mm -hmm. work at this intersection of science and writing to, to, to make some comments. So hey, my initial thought was that it's one way we could present a journal, but then have a little bit of commentary with it, you know? Um, what you're setting up is more professional development based, which is a whole nother level, which is interesting. And I think we could do something with that for sure. Like in the, I think we just, well, yeah. I, I want to not confuse people, but I think it'd be cool to have people come. I do. And yeah. Do so having set these, these stations up, it did, it does seem to me to give, easier access to these resources than like going to a website and trying to find stuff in the studio and, st and all that you know it has those nothing against all that of course but just to say um i don't know though um so here's a question paul yeah. just in terms of this brian kelly one mm -hmm. <coughs> so Video. So Brian Kelly has this amazing collection of who keeps a journal, like a beautiful slide presentation he did about who keeps a journal, right? Mm -hmm. And Kevin curated the more sort of STEAM focused ones. So there are artists in there, but a lot of them are science and technology and engineers. And then it looks like you put in the other ones too. So like there's Serena Williams and Emma Watson well, and 
Kevin, Lamar. Kevin's curation is in the video, right? Is that right? I think so. Kevin's curation's in the video. And yeah. for me, that's there too. There's, because, I, have yeah. an, I have an interest in trying to like, like I, we wanted to start with like about notebooks in general, but then really get to steam and notebooks mm -hmm. because so, so I would tend to want to focus on just the slides that Kevin curated because they're already more steam oriented mm -hmm. um, and be a little bit more, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Because I didn't I watch like the video, so I didn't realize it, that, yeah. Yeah, and I just, I guess I, you know, the other ones I think are beautiful. I just also feel like we start to get really all over the place if we don't, like, focus on, like, the yeah, intersection was... of steam and notebooks. Because we already have, like, steam, notebooks, and going outside. Right. So there's, like, three things and that you also have to have... intersect. Yeah, you also have art and writing going together. So yeah, uh, yeah. Well, the I figured and they the all do that. Writing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm game um, to. That's just think one about. edit on, on so, these things in here. But yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we can do that easily. Um, Come, did did you see the um the the now comment page? There's a link to now comment at the bottom, just to throw yeah, that in the mix here. It's, like a, it's, great. it's right here. So that I mean the thing is, it has all of last year's stuff here too, and that's both good and you know I don't know. How does it feel about that? Let me but, let me see how. So I just made a new category for journals. A new yeah. collection of journals, right? So the same five this the same five that are in here I, I put here, right? Actually this one you should share this again. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm like Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the way that I organize things at write out is each year there's a different theme. Right. So this page could be organized vis-a-vis -vis those themes and maybe the year when those themes happen because those themes correlate with the park service themes. Uh huh. Just to make it a little bit more parallel to um, I mean, so, I appreciate your kid collecting all this stuff. Um, yeah, on the other hand, I don't, yeah, it should be purposeful, so I don't want to, yeah, yeah. The um, just trying to see if there are comments, some of them have comments, some don't. So I don't I don't remember how I came up or how we came up how whatever the the inspiration daily sparks is that still going to be a theme? No. So It's not. Okay. So in 2000 and just to, to understand my thinking it doesn't mean it makes sense it's just my thinking. Mm -hmm. In 2020 mm -hmm. the park service theme was campfire stories by the campfire. Right. So we had sparks and inspirations and stuff. In 2021, we kept that nomenclature. And in 2022, we're, oh, I'm informally calling them sparks, but we're actually going to have it organized around make a notebook, use a notebook, be inspired by notebooks. Okay. So, so what I've collected here as journals is sort of be inspired by, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And for me, I'm not sure about the like notebook versus journal language. I don't know how you guys feel about it. People just use different things. Yeah. 
for different purposes. And then filled notes. So they, yeah, they have different implications, but yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, um, so but we could. I see the organization on the website. I'll just copy that here, right? Yeah. Well, it's not really there yet. Um, I know. I said when it when it will go. What? When it goes, I I have a flow chart of it. I can share it with you. Okay. Um. This is the thing. We could actually try to host like an event, a PD, like come learn about write out, and come to this PD in Kumo space, and use this space. I think. I think. I'd have to, I would, if you wanted to do that, or if you wanted me to organize that, I feel like what I would do is first have a like space where you're like, let's learn what write out is, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. And that's before you even get to now comment at all. Right. And then, and then, you know, talk about what's the relationship. I mean, I like how you have the notebook set up in a circle like this or sort of a circle like you can walk around right so um, you could do that at the first white table where we were sitting at the beginning right or yeah i would even think here even, at the entryway because yeah if you click on this that is where takes people you to the website yeah show up right mm -hmm. so but I would imagine if we did an event, you'd have a lot of newbies who've never been in Kuma space, who don't know what write out is. Like we'd have to just really have it scaffolded. But you all just did that this summer with a whole bunch of newbies. I mean, you did that with Richard Cook, so you have <laughs> off to you. I think it's doable. Um, I, yeah. So I don't know. Well, it's if not, we did it's not, like that. you know, object, yeah. I, I think, I think it's not, it's not any, anyway, it's not harder than anything else. It's just less familiar, right? So I think once people can move beyond the familiarity stuff, that, that it won't be hard. And it's less glitchy than it ever was. So, you know, it's, it's working, in other words. But um, I appreciate your distinction between being hard and familiar or not. <laughs> yeah, just because, you know, Zoom was really impossible at the beginning, too, you know, so it just yeah, yeah, yeah. drove people crazy. But anyway. Um, all right. I just, if, if to do a PD, to do a more open PD, Paul, I would think it would be seven o'clock at night rather than nine o'clock at night on the East Coast. That's fine. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. When, yeah. Um, and then let's we could try, probably let's... have people, you know, at these tables. So there's like, we have facilitators at each of the tables. Like Marina, maybe if you wanted to do one or share your notebooks or something, we could have you at a table with either your notebooks or you know, I don't know. Yeah, that would be really cool. My problem is I have to figure out how I could pay people, but I might be able to pay people because I don't want I don't want everybody to work and not get. Yeah. I mean, like a stipend or something. What I think is natural for Kumo Space is jigsaw too, though, right? So go to a yeah. table for a while and then I think come back out. Nice idea. And, mm -hmm. and then come back out and tell tell everyone what you saw there. But I also like your notion of using now comment as a a noticing time like what's important in this particular so we would it wouldn't be like everything that's on the website it would be the the three things that we think we really want to notice as examples yeah. right yeah. so yeah so one of my questions about the noticing was like when you when we use so can i can i just Mm -hmm. Ask you this question. Yes. Sorry, I've been taking over because this is what do you mean taking it? Okay. Okay. So here we are in now comment, right? Mm -hmm. And so I want to notice. Um, oops. I want to notice that like every day. Um, 
time, date, stamp. This includes weather, time, and tide, right? Mm -hmm. um, this seems like a great practice. So you suggest blah, 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 right? So I feel like. So you're descriptive in the, in the first box or the, yeah. the comment box. And then you're saying why wondering. it's important below. Yeah. Yeah. Or what like the implication is or whatever, or what you think is important about it or something. Um, but I was wondering if like, can you edit this, like start a new conversation? I uh, I don't think so. Do. I think it. Okay. Yeah, no. I can so ask. In, I can ask, but in, I don't. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want to do that. I just wanted to like know because I felt like you had customized it in other contexts, but you just tend to make suggestions, right? You haven't customized it. Yeah. You just say just like we did for each other there, like in the comment box, make a description there, right? Okay. And then say the implications in the bottom box. I think I so think people can do a, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you come up with a protocol like that that we ask people to follow, mm -hmm. then it would be like just to try to make it a little less random. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But does that seem like a decent protocol? Like name what it, what, what you think it is, describe it, then what's an idea or an implication or something that you think is interesting about it. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. I mean, one of the things that when I look at this field notebook, part of what I was thinking about was like, oh, it's so interesting. There's like a lot of detail. It's like both instructional, mm -hmm. like it's as if like you're instructing somebody to go to this place in Big Egg Harp, you know, like, and it seems like it's documenting also. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what are they, like, I'd love to hear her talk about, you know, who the audience is for these. Mm -hmm. Because I was like, is the audience just so that like other, like if, if scientists just have saying like, this, is, these are, this is everything that I did in case there are any questions. These are the tools I use. This is where I went. You know, maybe that's what it is, why it's so detailed, but it's like where she went, what she took with her, how she laid out the thing, you know, it includes everything. And then there's like so, a whole bunch of nails counted here. So I don't know what that is either. <laughs> so as you're, as you're saying that though. It's, yeah. So there's like data, there's, there's the data, the measurements. Those are like, yeah, those, are, those popped out to me. Too. There's the like given it, the how there's, there's like so the much map here too. Yeah, the yeah. Sequencing one, two, three. Sequencing. That's a good point. Yep. Yeah. So I thought so, if we sort of as teachers did that kind of thing here and tried it ourselves, mm -hmm. um, that we could either invite students to look at that version or you know, encourage them to do their own. I think part of the professional development aspect would have to be like to also show people how they could use this process in their class. So they could, you know, they could go to this field journal and not be a now comment, or they could make a new page and now comment, right. And use it with their class. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. use the one that we've annotated. I don't know. That's really up to the teacher. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. This um, I think sort of cracked me up. Like sand thrown 160 feet instead of 200 feet. Like, what is that? <laughs> Why but does I, that matter? <laughs> but on the issue of how to get a student version, right? If somebody's brand new to now comment, I'd be happy to help 
you know, they've come to a workshop, I'd be happy to help them set that up. They could say, I want the second one okay. and the fourth one. And, you know, great. We, or, yeah. That, so we could just uh, say that. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Either they can do it themselves if they want, or I can help. Yeah. Now, so. just so you know, the, 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 I want to show you this. I don't want to, this is what I sent you, Paul, right? Is this one page that's on the Where is this now? website? Oh, yeah. What? Yes, that's what Can you, you see. It? Where where did you no? Because you're on a different tab. Yeah, okay. Oh, I did that thing that you told me not to do. Yeah. So you that's you why just you have said to switch share. tabs, but it's hard to do. If you share the whole window, then we get to see all your tabs. You want me to share the window? Okay. And then, but you just and have to be we'll careful about what window we're. Yeah, but you just change the tab, and you're okay. If I do the window, it's not letting, wait, Kuma space, youth voices, can't share screen. Okay, let me try this screen. It's not letting me share my whole thing, my no? screen. No. Let me see, present screen, next. I'm, then, I'm getting a permissions hmm. block. Oh. You can share the tab, but not the window. Yeah. And okay. So let me just show you this. Um, so you just have to so this is, go to the different this tab. Is, yeah. So this is the page that you basically put on now comment, right? Right. And there's more somewhere. And, yeah. And, and huh. then she actually has these two different ones, right? So there's actually an interesting thing we could do there about the two different. How are they different? You know, how are they? What's different about them? What's the same? But then she sent me. So you're in touch with her, obviously. Yeah. Well, she just sent it through um, a, a form that we gave I see. to Rangers. Okay. But she's clearly very excited. Like okay. the fact that we're doing notebooking. Like she's clearly a notebooker, right? Like she draws pictures and she like, so this is the bigger story behind these notebooks and it's got sounds from the marsh and you can hear like it's New York's Jamaica Bay. So you can hear the airplanes yes. over. Um, this is all about like what they're doing, what they're monitoring. Here's her notebook again. Um, Mm -hmm. more sounds here's a video of them working and then more plots so this has all the details about what these things are interesting yeah. which i thought would be an interesting companion to look at after you look at the notebook right because that's how i came to it i looked at the notebook first and then she sent this to us also mm -hmm. and i was like oh i never saw this you know okay does that make sense to you? Does that seem interesting? Yes. Um, <laughs> but so is Rich is like, that's her. Like any of these could be a whole session, right? I just, yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. Well, that's why I, I like what you said about, um, oh, hold on. Jigsaw. This is her. Yeah. Oh, this is her. You're playing it? I can't hear it, but that's okay. Um, this is her website. So no no wonder she's like into this stuff because she's an artist. Um, I mean, clearly she's an artist. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, she went to the science writing program at Johns Hopkins. Anyway. But this is this is the woman who made those journals. So I'm gonna get her onto the webinar. The woman um, Karen Young. Yeah, I was thinking like if we had one ranger in there, someone yeah. would the parts with Karen, it would be really cool. And since this woman's so excited and is a science writer. Um so, okay, so what are our next steps? Or what do you want to think about? <laughs> So I just want to think about um, 
dates for this kind like to organize towards mm -hmm. um i need to organize another one that's about making notebooks too mm -hmm. um so i don't know like october The thing is, you're, you're imagining PD that people can then bring to their students, right? In both yeah. cases. Yeah. No, we should so just. Would, so it would be sooner what than if we just, October. Yeah. We, we need to do it sooner, yeah. I mean, Paul, the other thing we could do is use this room as a way to get the colleagues we know here, like on Wednesday nights for the next, to annotate these things. And then these things become resources mm -hmm. rather than trying to organize a whole separate PD. Just cause the timing is not great. Okay. Um, sure. I mean, Folks who usually come here, I mean, they're, they're like in New York City, we're just starting, well, in East Coast, they're just starting, right? But yeah, you know, interesting things are evolving, but um, so we'll see. In well, I could do something getting, next but, Thursday what? if you wanted to, like, I don't know how fast we could do it. We could get it set up and then we could advertise it. Or we could advertise it and then we'd be forced to set it up quickly. Um, I don't know, September 15th, we could do something. Uh, That's really soon. Yeah, could we do it one week later than that or not? Or you have other things going on? Or? No, I could do it a week later. The 22nd? Yeah. And so we're talking Thursday at seven o'clock. Yeah, I th I think to do a, a a big group we'd have to a t more open group we'd have to do it earlier. That's fine. Okay. And we're talking about focusing on that um, that ranger and that that that, ar that artist journalist that we were just talking about. Or, or more general. No, but, I'm. More general I'm going to do here. like. I'm going to do like a webinar with Karen, Karen, and invite that that Bridget Yi person to also okay. join that webinar. Hopefully, got it. Um, and that'll be in October. It'll be during the event. All right. I wonder if for for TTT if we want to like. I don't know if you have plans for next week, but we could invite some people who we think might be interested in starting helping to get some annotation started in these spaces. Yeah. You know, like I mean, out to Rich and Abigail and Carrie and, you know. As you started to point out, and it's something that we, I always have to remember. It's like when there are three things that are new, it, it becomes too much cognitive overload, right? So when Kuma Space yeah. is new and now Comment is new and, and, and you know, right. Um, but so I'm not sure what to do about that. I just want to recognize it. Um, but like, yeah, okay. Well, you said Rich was close to having something additional to this. Maybe if I point this out to him, that this is here. And let me reach out to him. And yeah. And I can reach out to some others if you have other ideas. But okay. I guess it, it is true that I feel like the group of us are pretty flexible in these spaces and we kind of overwhelm everybody else. Mm -hmm. Um and i mean 
mean, it'd be nice to set this up like a, like I was thinking, I'm thinking about it like a round table at NCTE, right? Where you go from like, you go to the round table and you, there's someone there to facilitate the round table. And so there's someone who's like got your back. Like you don't have to do much when you get there. <laughs> you can listen to them. You might do an activity. You'll give some feedback and then you could go to another one. So but, let's use TTT as a facilitator's meeting, right? For that Thursday okay. bigger event. Say that again? We can use TTT as a facilitator's meeting, like what you would do. You yeah. should go in here and annotate this so it has a seed annotation going on, right? And, you, and yeah. when we do this on Thursday, you'll be the person doing that table, right? I think that yeah. would be that would be smart. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then... And then people, excuse me, and then, then like you could facilitate us in a jigsaw because I do think a jigsaw is the best way to do it so you're not like completely overwhelmed, right? Right, so you're just doing one piece of it. And then that also invites you back, right? Because, <laughs> oh, I wanted to find out more about that. But, yeah. And then Marina, would you want to to handle a table and maybe bring your own work or... Um, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Have fun. And then, Paul, we could decide if, you know, maybe we just have a table with the people who are willing, to, who can be there and who can present work, and we take off the other ones that are not, like, there's other ones, but we don't have the people to talk to you about them, <laughs> you know, and you can look at them. Yeah. Um, I, I could facilitate the, um, the, the gateway, one. gateway one. Yeah. Just cause but it'd I, be great if she could be there too. <laughs> but, yeah. But, I just, with the Rangers, I have to be careful also how yeah, much I ask yeah. of them. They, they, they have limited bandwidth. Um, sure. and yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, I think it's good to stick with something for the next couple of things. Yeah. Okay. Like we have then we, we have two Wednesdays to sort of plan and think together. Yeah. And and other things were, you know, people going to need other things too, but that's okay. We can figure that out. The rich Marina and then um Chris wants to be involved too, I think. So, yeah. Well, yeah, Chris did that really nice I was wondering, like, the Leandra Taylor video clip that I have, what's nice about Leandra's work, I just don't think we can get Leandra. So, mm -hmm. you know, I paid her last year to run that session, and she's a consultant. Like, that's what she does, right? So she's, and she's, she's getting more, she's getting pretty well known now. <laughs> so I don't think I can afford her. Um, I get it. So... And I don't think I can get her on late notice. So, um, but yeah, let's get Chris involved and, you know, maybe he'd want to do something. I was also thinking about Carrie Nobis, right? Because Carrie's been here. Right. Carrie's a science teacher. And it'd be nice to have like, like Marina and, um, Abigail, if a Abigail seems pretty flexible with technology, I would That's wonder. L U N D if is her last name. L U N D. L U. Okay. L U N D. She. She also has a gig with um, Daily Writers, so I don't know how or whatever that writing site is. So I don't know how free she is, but. Yeah. But those are el more elementary examples. I mean, Marina, you could like. I don't know, you can share your work. You could talk about what you've noticed about Abigail's work, you know, like mm -hmm. if you talk to Abigail. And then if we had uh, some high school teachers, um, we could maybe get Brian. I I think, um, I don't know what grade two Brian teaches, but. Brian who? Ke Kelly. Oh, oh, Brian Kelly. Because Brian Kelly's from the. Westchester Writing Project. Yeah. Okay. 
so Brian's and he's good with technology. So like Brian's pretty flexible. I just think these people would have the capacity to be facilitators and be comfortable with it. Okay. I'm going to, I'll reach out to these people and I may need to get some email addresses, but okay. I'll see. I'll let you know. Okay. okay. Yeah. And yeah. And so we have like two Wednesdays to plan the pitch. Stipend, so I'll look at the budget too. Cause I, I, I wouldn't want people to run a PT and BD. I mean, for this work, we have money. I just need to figure out how to allocate it. <laughs> okay. And, but you'll also put it out an announcement for. Yeah. We have to write up the announcement. Right. That's probably the, the key thing. Right. Okay. Cool. There's so many fun things to do. There's just not enough time to do them. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank okay. You, Paul. Thank you. All this. Thank you, Marina. <laughs> Appreciate all the work you've been doing on this stuff too. Cool, cool. All right. Fun. Talk to you soon. Good right. luck with school. Oh, thanks. <laughs> bye bye. bye.